Hello Gin Lovers, welcome back. I'm Bobby Freeman and today my friends we're going to be reviewing this cheeky little chap which is Herno Old Tom Gin or as I suspect it's pronounced because this little accent there, I might be wrong but I think it is Herno. Her not gin, which sounds a little bit French, which is disappointing because it is not actually French, which means I do not have an excuse to do this outrageous accent. It is, in fact, all the way from Sweden. So, my friends, let's have a little quick look what they say about it on their website, shall we? Now then, as you all know, well, my regular viewers will know, I do like to do the accent from where the gin is from. However, I'm not brilliant at the Swedish accent. I don't, I haven't really had much to do with any Swedish people. The only Swedish people I ever met were um, some uh, some drunk Swedish ladies on the tube once. And I was a little bit drunk as well. And we all ended up uh, uh, singing ABBA together on the escalators. Anyway, I'm going to try and source what I think is a Swedish accent. So, uh, oh God, what the hell, here goes. Hono Old Tom Gin is made from the same distilled gin as our original Hono Gin, but with an extra amount of meadow sweet added in the distillation and after diluting it down to 43%, we add a touch of sugar. The sweetening lifts the floral notes, releases an array of juniper and makes the gin even smoother. Okay, now if you are from Sweden, I apologise profusely because I, 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 that was literally a stab in the dark at what your accent is or from what I sort of glean from a vague drunken memory of uh, speaking to these women on the tube that night. It was kind of a, a bit of a mixture of uh, German, bit of French and maybe some little bit of Dutch thrown in there as well. I don't know why, whenever I do Dutch, I always just want to do this. You know, I'm a little bit of a Dutch man. You know, I go to Dutch. I, you know, I, I go to Dutch. I, I come, from, come from the Dutch. I'll forget it. You know what I mean. Okay, let's move this video on now before I get bogged down in any more racial stereotypes. But before I do, uh, I must just tell you that this gin was, of course, brought to you by my lovely friends at the Gin Box Shop, whose logo is over here. No, we always have it over there. Let's have it up there. There we go. Yeah, I prefer it up there. It's better. Um, these guys know exactly what they're doing when it comes to gin. They know they've got a huge selection, and, and as well as all the well-known stuff, they've got loads of sort of uh, sort of interesting brands you might not have heard of before, like indeed like the Hanot. So go and see them. I will. I put the uh, uh, link in the section below as always. Right then, no more fanning around. Let's get the old top off, shall we? Oh, it's a bit of a tricky top. There we go. I've done it right. No cork, obviously, because it's a tiny bottle. Let's get him in the old glass. Beautiful. Let's have a bit more, shall we? Now then, this is, of course, Old Tom Gin. As it's suggested on their website, it will be a little bit sweeter. And I must say, I do love an Old Tom Gin. gin. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and as I was speaking to you about how much I love the Old Tom Gin, I was seduced by the aroma just creeping out of this glass, because... Oh, man alive. I, oh, I think it's, my, do you know what? My prediction is Old Tom is going to take over from the London Dry. It's going to be the next big thing because it's just, ugh, it's just sort of, it's kind of like an indulgence. It's basically gin, but a little bit sweeter. Have a look at my Old Tom, uh, history of Old Tom uh, video, Old Tom gin video, because it's very, it, it has a real rich history. And it's actually quite interesting, but that smells thick and viscous and almost a sort of a, I always think it's a tiny bit of sort of caramelly sort of essence to it as well. And it's, so there's no surprises there. That's exactly what I thought the old Tom will taste, uh, will smell like. So let's marry it up with a little bit of tonic. Good Lord, I'm running low on the tonic, as you can see. Hang on a minute. What the hell is that floating in my tonic? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. It's something weird floating. I'm going to have to change the tonic bottle. Oh dear. How unprofessional of me. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. We've got one over here. Oh yes, there we go. What the hell could that be? If anyone knows what that could be, if we've got any tonic connoisseurs, please let me know. It's like a fluffy crowd, cloud floating in the bottom. Never mind, never mind. We shall move on regardless. Right, this one's cloud free. So, my friends, what a strange video it is today. Get in there, old son. We haven't got any more time to waste. That's going to be a bit, a bit weak, so let's whack a bit more gin in there. Good lord, this video is going all over the place today. Anyway, let's get in the old mouth, shall we? So, Hono, old Tom Gin, all the way from, uh, th th that was definitely German that time, from, um, I was going to say Switzerland, Sweden. <laughs> Cheers, we'll get there in the end. Oh, man. <laughs> God, that's a strong one. Oh. It's kind of no surprises here. That was exactly what I thought. Old Tom's fairly reliable. It's a reliable sort of gin. It's kind of got something in there. Some a, a kind of a, a thicker, stickier sort of essence to it, which I really, really love. But it's a little bit different from ones I've tried in the past. Where's my Heyman? I've got the Hortus Old Tom there. Hang on a second, it's over here, the Heyman's Old Tom, which was probably one of the nicest Old Toms I've ever tried. It, but. A lot of them do taste fairly similar, but I tell you what, this one's got a little bit of a unique quirk to it. Let me have another little blast on it. Hang on. 
it's kind of a it's kind of a lighter, fresher version of Old Tom. This was quite, as I say, quite sort of, I was going to say sickly, that's wrong. It's thick and viscous. They're the same also with the campfire one over here. They're classic Old Toms. This is a little bit different. It's sort of a lighter edge to it, and it's kind of slightly less Old Tom, perhaps, than these Old Toms. This is kind of sort of maybe, you know, I think it might be like a halfway house between um the what would i call these old toms my sort of classic old toms and the london dry now maybe they use a little bit less of the uh, sort of a sweet essences in there but you know what it's actually quite nice particularly some people i know don't have a particularly sweet tooth particularly when it comes to drinks they don't like sweet stuff this one if you've tried old tom before might be an interesting one to go for it's something like that there's something in there I can't like, quite place. But yeah, that I'd say it's Old Tom dialed down slightly. So maybe, maybe, if, as I say, if you're not really that keen on the Old Tom, so if you felt it was a bit too viscous, a bit too sort of sickly for you, this one, my friends, might be a good one to try. Top tip today from Old Freeman. So then, how much is it, I hear you ask? Well, it is a smaller distillery, obviously, because a lot of you may not have heard of this one before. Um, so it's going to be £35, which is about 50 uh, Was it $50? No, $40, basically. It's about $40 and about the same in euros. And yeah, a little bit more, but again, I don't mind paying that little bit more to support the smaller distilleries. And also, it has a, what a lovely little label, a lovely cute little cut on there. Very nice little cut, isn't he? Actually, he's not that cute at all. He looks a little bit... Mm, looks like he's up to something to me, actually, licking his lips in a surreptitious way. But anyway, I like the, the bottle very much, and I like the gin very much, so I suggest, my friends, if you're in a slightly odd mood and you want something a little bit different, you could do a lot worse than trying the old Hunno gin from, old Tom gin, from Sweden. So, my friends, another gin video done. I hope you've enjoyed that one. It's been a little bit all over the place. Some people criticise me on uh, YouTube saying I take too long to get to the gin, and maybe I do, but you know what? I have a bloody good time on the way, and I always enjoy the journey. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, as always, my friends, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the little like button and the bell icon so you get notified when all my new videos come out. And, of course, have a look at my Patreon uh, page for lots of exclusive and exciting content. But until next time, guys, I have been Bobby Freeman, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.